A pretty emotional night in Clay County where parents and health leaders made their case for or against masks with three weeks until the start of school. KSHB 41 News reporter Andres Gutierrez was at tonight's meeting where things just wrapped up. Ultimately, the board for the health department decided to hold off on making any recommendations over masks or other COVID-19 guidance. This comes after hours of testimony for the public. More than 100 people from around Clay County packed the lobby of the health department as the board of trustees weighed what to do with masks in schools for the upcoming academic year. A majority in attendance against it. Do not succumb to the tyranny of the urgent. I'm here as a mother who is becoming incredibly frustrated. Uh, and tired of co-parenting with the government and unelected bureaucrats that think they know what's best for my child better than I do. And the fact that we are considering going back to school, putting masks on our kids, I will not be sending them if that is the case. The hearing comes as COVID-19 cases in Clay County rose 36% weekly for the first three weeks in July. According to the county's dashboard, there's high community transmission. The positivity rate is at 14.65%. Please consider mask use prudently and carefully because we don't know what is coming. We're going to continue to learn. Masking is an act of compassion for the community around you. Some of the more than two dozen speakers call for the power of choice over masking, even alternatives. I pray that if you open up a mask optional approach for all students, that everyone in this room would be happy because those who feel that this mask does protect and not harm their child can have at it. If we have to mask, if we must, have you considered recommending the clear face shields? so we can actually see each other's faces. School districts within Clay County, like Liberty, have already made masking mandatory. I just ask that we not do nothing. And I'd like to issue one more final thank you to everyone in this room, whether you disagree with me or not, for showing up today to participate and not be a do nothing person. And so now the board wants to get more information from doctors from Children's Mercy and other experts about the level of immunity someone has after contracting the virus before making any decision. In Liberty, Andres Gutierrez, KSHB 41 News.